So here we are, back again. I hope everybody had a, uh, a lovely Thanksgiving. Was, uh, woke up at like four in the morning and then it was like nonstop running until three. And I probably passed out and went to sleep. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, it was a crazy day. Uh, so all right, we are in autumn of year six. And, uh, we're gonna be playing. Hold on one second. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Alright, yeah, because yesterday I was thinking about popping on for just a few minutes to say hi, and I actually didn't ever get that few minutes, so fire is that. Good morning, Smooth. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was run, run, run yesterday. Alright, how are we on weights and stuff? Let me check. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, okay ish on that one. And food. Oh man. Perch. So perch does decay. It's good to know. And that's not supposed to be in there. Looks like we had plenty of room for that one too. Alright. Let me think. Oh, we're making backpacks. That's why we have stuff in our our inventory. Mer. Uh, flax, not grain, but do 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 do. Did you have a good day yesterday? Well, Thanksgiving is like a American tradition thing, but hopefully you still had some funs. So I remember I was ranting about uh, how all this didn't get planted because it's supposed to have uh, wheat on it. Well, wheat doesn't get planted in summer. Hey, Stell. Wait a minute, why is there still carrots here? You know what? That's fine. We're just gonna take the carrots, because hopefully there's supposed to be carrots here. <laughs> uh. It's a morning. It's definitely a morning. I'm on like my third sip of coffee. And uh yesterday while a good day was a very long and stressful day. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Friday though, so uh, hopefully you guys will have a nice peaceful weekend. Oh nice. I used the French press when we were overseas because it was easier for me to get hot water than it was a coffee. Uh, power for a coffee thing. Hi, Blue! Good morning, guys. Hope everybody had a uh, lovely day yesterday. Oh, look, they're going up somehow, magically. I'll take it, though. <laughs> okay, uh. Management fields. Wheat. Flax. Cabbages. Okay. Be bopping and running a couple things today. Whew. All right, let's 
one guy out there, one guy going that way. Okay, that's all we could hope for today. I got some more flax in my hand, so we're gonna have to thrash that uh, so we can finish making our bigger backpacks. Carrots, carrot seeds. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, like I said, sorry I missed yesterday. I just pretty much hit the r ground running yesterday and wasn't able to stop for five seconds. Uh, the barn. Dun, dun, dun. It was supposed to be just me and my mom yesterday for Thanksgiving uh, meal, and my sister went ahead and brought her family over too, so a lot of us in one house. I was like, ruh row. I was happy to see them, but uh, but I have a, like other sisters and brothers too. They they all stayed um, in their immediate homes and stuff, but I divided uh, my sister because. The thing. Yeah, you were in the kitchen most of the Exactly. Yeah. I was up with the cooking at four in the morning and then Yes. Yes. Like I said, by the time everybody left at three I was I was done. I took a shower and crawled in bed and passed out. <laughs> Had pumpkin pie for breakfast this morning. It was delicious. morning is we need to get some more flax thread in order to finish out the uh, backpack. I think we're able to finish the pouch. Turkey and mashed potatoes with breakfast for you. Nice. Yeah, I had uh, I had my family take all the leftovers away because uh, my mom's especially because she knows people that actually need need stuff during Thanksgiving time. Um, so she took that there because I think we only ate like a third of what uh, of the food I actually made between all of us. So she took that and she's gonna give it to other people, which is great. Like this is why um, Halloween is usually my holiday because it involves like minimal prep time besides getting the decorations and the party games and stuff out for the kids. Uh, and then I like to order a couple pizzas and I have a couple vegetable vegetable plates and stuff and be done. This is the first time I've actually cooked the turkey for Thanksgiving or hosted Thanksgiving. It was usually at my other sister's house, and uh, yeah. So just as stressful as I remember it being a kid. <laughs> uh. Some of the stuff I got more uh, faster to make, like you didn't have to mix a bunch of stuff. And uh, my mom was like, that's not the point of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving isn't just to eat, it's to sit there and you know, cook together and catch up and stuff like that. And I'm like, sorry. My thing was I didn't want to stress out while I'm trying to do stuff. <laughs> uh, good morning, spider. One of the most chill route you could go, and it still took that many hours to get situated. Jeez. And I told the kids they could play the board game stuff as long as they put it back, you know, put it back up. And, um,. I stepped on like two life pieces this morning. That was great. I'm like, great. Yeah. Anyway, anybody, <laughs> anybody that had family over knows that. 
Alright, we're looking for the sewing shop. I forgot where it was. Okay, it's over here. The guy, I'm so lost right now. Hi, lady. Scooch over just a little bit, please. Oh, you can't? Okay, fine. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, like I said, I hope everybody had a good day yesterday. And, uh, just kind of chill out today. And there's a couple things I wanted to do, but there's a couple things that I don't want to do, too. So <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing today. I wouldn't mind getting another house up, but I don't think we're anywhere near the new tavern to move things yet. Oh, we moved the new tavern, didn't we? Hi, Zon. Chilling just a little bit. Oh. All right, let's see here. And we need a bag and a backpack. There we go. This is the only thing I remembered. That and me trying to plant wheat in the wrong season. Yeah, last time. That's the only two things I remember. So we're on now update 1.2.1.2. I'm not sure what they made in the dot .2 version. Uh, I know they released the uh, thing yesterday or day before for the roadmap part one to the public instead of the test, so as you can see, it doesn't say test version up there anymore. <sighs> Pretty good, Zom. I'm uh, happy to be streaming this morning. We, uh, it was a busy, busy day yesterday. Alright, so 70 kilograms and 61 kilograms. So it's not a bad gain upgrading. <laughs> Still, I did the same thing. Oh my god, how far down are they going? Are they gonna leave as soon as they hit like 20% or something like that? They're uh, they went back up today to a little bit higher. Still not super happy yet though. Yeah, that was definitely scary. Hi, Bay. Oh, look how close we are to the mines, guys. We're only 100 points away from the mines. Aw, thank you. I appreciate it, Bay. I popped over on Bones' uh, channel yesterday. I don't think he was even streaming. I went ahead and used my Prime to subscribe because uh, I hate wasting money. <laughs> I'm like, if I have free money, I will give it away. Much appreciated. All right, we did a thing. We got the backpacks. We're officially Dora. Is there a oh, d what do I do? Hold on. Silly. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Alright, that's equipped. That's equipped. It's a huge jump from 50 to 70. It's great. Okay, we can put all this back in the, uh, the shed. Yeah, it's like I didn't know if people were on, um, running different schedules on work and stuff like that, so it's always good to see you. <laughs> I know a couple of our people have swing shifts. Okay, got that over there. Assassinating stuff in Diablo 3. Yeah, uh, 
so I got to 92 on my rifts on Diablo 3 and got my full World Wind Barb set. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. I usually only make it to 70 on the rifts and then I just leave it alone. Uh, besides grinding for gear. But, yeah. It pushed a lot farther and faster than I thought it would. See, how, I've, how, how many of you guys don't like this quest? Because it says... It's the one she makes you go talk to another so seamstress and be like, uh, tell them they're be I'm better than they are. It's like, I hate that one. Why did you do that? <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. I mean, you could reword it to like, hey, can you take this up to the other seamstress and see how I'm doing? Or, or something, I don't know. Alright, let's see what he wants us to get. It's always something be out of his price range. Let's see here. Recurve bow. You told him <laughs> you told the other person was better. Nice. I had another recurve bow ready because I knew this quest was coming. Do, 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 do. It's kind of hoping we'd find a farmer that wanted us to do a quest because we can cut down trees and get to the mine faster. Here. Good luck hunting. The deer's right there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, sometimes you have to make sure their ego's checked a little bit. I get my ego checked all the time when I die from starvation. So our woodcutters should, since we have two of them, our woodcutters should unlock mines pretty soon. I was thinking about doing something silly, so I might go ahead and just do that, just because. Just because you can. Um, don't, 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 don't. Alright. We have stuff. We have things. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I guess the reason I initially hated that one was because it ruined itself every time. Like I would actually go do the quest and turn it into her. And then the next part of the quest was to tell her I lied because it didn't actually trigger correctly. And then I had to tell her I lied and then I got negative points anyway. So <laughs> I was like, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Okay, uh, iron spear, okay, so planks, 12, logs, 11, do 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 so because we are very incredibly close to the mine, let's see, 20 more points, uh, we are gonna, we have 80 points until it's, it's ready, but we're gonna go ahead and take a pickaxe or two, and we're gonna go up to the mine and start doing stuff and things. To try to get a little bit closer, I'm also taking enough building materials, we should be able to build it straight up. Uh, once it triggers. So we're hoping tonight it'll trigger. Do, 
So the mine we're going to is the easy mine. And that one's right over here. So our intent and purpose is to have two mines set up ready to go. And then we'll move people around as needed. Everybody's got their coffee, or tea, or hot apple cider, whatever you need this winter. Oh. Ouch! <coughs> ah, no pig! <laughs> Why pig? Why? Why are you so mean to me? Yeah, there's no bears or anything like that. The other mine's fine too, but um, I worry when they get more AI stuff going, if they go super detailed, if the other mine's gonna be a problem. The other mine, it didn't have a problem. Um, like the bears didn't attack the workers. Which is great, which is what we want. Uh, but I call it the easy mine because there's no no attacks up here. Although the other mine is a tad bit closer. So we'll build one here and we will build one in the bear mine. And there's like three others besides that uh, on the map. I don't know where I am. Okay, there we are, this way. Yeah, we used to call this one up here the salt mine, uh, but I didn't notice like a difference between how much ore I get here and in the bear mine. <laughs> All right. There we go. And number five. Yeah, I, I enjoy that place a lot. Uh, for me, it's more a creature of habit problem. Because uh, I'm usually, it's hard for me to change my um, uh, comfort zone. So when I first built that, like I said, I wanted it right next to the two towns because it, um, it was close. But there's a spot on the other side that's even closer, but I just... I just couldn't do it. It just it just felt wrong the entire time I was playing it. So when we started, I went back to my home. Yeah, Quimby log in, he goes, you know you're not going to stay there. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm totally going to stay here. No, it's not going to stay there. We both knew it. It's the same thing. Anytime I play on like Conan and other places like that, I always build in the same spot. I 
Now, in my defense, I actually did move spots in Conan because I found an even better spot. And then after like the next 15 playthroughs, I always built there. So I, I have moved if it suited my purposes for, for um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Efficiency. The place I initially had, you had to run a long time to get water and that was just not a good thing in Conan. Aha, I knew it. All right, we're getting there. We got another 40 points. We can do it. We have so much room for activities. I mean, look, we got 70 kilograms of weight. Like, uh, double what we start with. Uh, pickaxes you can find. And Hornica. And, a, uh... Which one was- which was the other one, guys? For the pickaxe? It's- it's Hornica for sure, this is where I always get mine. Uh, but you have to go through Wolf Alley. There's a safer spot to go, though. Cause there's a mine right here, and there's a mine over here-ish. Oh, right here, I can't remember. I can't remember where the second mine is. Um. So, yeah. Chat, where's the other pickaxe? It's okay. People be lurking today. It's fine. <laughs> Some people are still working today, I guess. But Hornica's the one I always go to. Because um, there's a quest that takes you up there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, then you'll, there's a mine up here that has a bear. That one right there. To cut through that way. If you went around this way, you wouldn't have any wolves, but you got Wolf Valley right there. I used to try to cut right here and go around, and I didn't cut into any wolves, but on occasion, the last three or four playthroughs, I've had wolves come all the way out here for some reason. But yeah, I used to stop in this four way and just switch around here. Yeah, there's one here, and then there's. I really want to say Valencia, but I feel like that's a wrong word, a wrong deal. And I don't want to lead them wrong. Alright, technology. 25 points left. I'll spam F5. I know, right? Keep stuffing your face with broad leaves and just run through. Or actually, all you really have to do is have your torch out. Like, just your torch, not torch and a pickaxe. And just make sure you can do this, and you should be good. There is a separate wolf pack that far out, monkey. Okay, that might have been why I ran first into him. Yeah, I've ran through there three times and not had anything, and then the rest of the playthroughs I've had wolves in my face. So much room for activities. Oh, Monkey, did you know which other uh, town had a pickaxe that was safer than going this way? They stopped a pit stop for the bear, but uh, I can't remember. To the right of the wo waterfalls where the other wolf pack is. Okay. It's good to know. Linencia. Okay, so it was this one. I was like, it's one of these two, but I feel like it's further south. Okay, so that one and this one have pickaxes. Da, 
dun dun. Cause Roll has the um the recurve bow, right? Valencia. Eh. That one. Morning, Jay. Happy day after Thanksgiving. One, she has a recurve bow too. Well, man, I might just pit stop there next time for both of them. Get the recurve bow for uh, myself until Alwyn needs it. And then give him a half a half broken. Um, come on, you guys can do it. All right, <laughs> we're so close. That's why we brought two pickaxes. We're getting a mine today, darn it. Five just for because <laughs> let's move. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop. No, sleep till the mines. <laughs> Finally. Alright, now we gotta figure out how to get out of here. Which sounds easy. We'll just go up. Yeah, sweet. Okay. That's what we needed. And X. There we go. Pick this up and this up. And a building. And a oh, resources. Resources and boom. Boop. So as you can see it fits right in the mouth of the cave. Just need some planks. And some more planks. So twelve planks. And I only brought eleven logs, so we're shy some logs. So let's go ahead and chop down some logs. Oh look! Birches. <laughs> Nobody likes you, birches. There we go. Mine's complete. And a pickaxe. And iron. Oops. Okay.
Uh, I built all the way over here. I like this little spot right here. Okay. Go ahead and turn the torch off there. Do, 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 do. Hi, Elle. Welcome, welcome. We are uh, setting up no mine number one. And I got too many ores, so we're going to have to slow walk back. So we're going to hold left shift and number pad eight for auto walk. And then W to speed it up just a little bit. <laughs> it's a lovely evening. The location we're going through doesn't have any wolves, so at least we don't have to worry about getting our faces numb by that. Uh, I believe I'm in year six. Yes, year six autumn. I got all the Owen quests done and all the chapter quests already done. I'm usually done with those by year three. So now it's all waiting on Unigo stories and building out our village. Uh, we're also, oops, at max building. So 30, 30 buildings already. We're waiting on a uh, another bigger update to um, to switch over and start a new one, but uh, I'm not really a fisher person because um, it doesn't have, from from my in my humble opinion, fish don't have much of a uh, impact on what you make food-wise. So, like, fish is like the last thing they want to eat. <laughs> There's no recipes besides fish tarts, um, which is resource intensive, so. Yeah, so the last patch we didn't update. Or didn't, um, sorry, didn't restart. Mm Nice, easy stroll through here. I did show people that you can hunt fish with a bow, so you don't need a fishing spear. You can just use a bow. Or, I mean, I sh I'm sure you could even use a pike if you want to. I didn't try a pike, but. Uh, how, how far are you into the game? Or are you just checking out to see if you maybe want to play it? Thank God for auto walk. I can stretch while we do this. <laughs> Only have a cup of coffee in this morning. They have been adding a lot new, a lot of new sounds to the game. Make it a little bit more interesting. They, um, the roasted meat one sounds really good again. I uh, was still not a fan of the pottage one, but they might have updated that. Or at least toned it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
We're almost back to the village. Found your first bear? Where did it find you? <laughs> if you're hunting you with the spears, you need a lot of spears. Hopefully you had a bow. Yeah, <laughs> I found you then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's okay. The scariest I ever had, I popped over the hill and there was two of them. Like, no! Mistakes were made. Thankfully, when they go for the big swipe, you have just enough time to move backwards. Without getting smacked. Alright, let's see how far they got on the fields today. Oh, uh, auto walk off. Uh, shift F8. There we go. So, bow, spear, oops, cancel, torches, all right, we're going to be in, in, uh, oh, 33 wooden spoons, so we switch, w uh, our crafters to Pardon me. Wooden spoons because they craft faster, and cra faster crafting means more skills. So let's go check on our skills for these fellows. Management, craftsman, still threes, but that's okay. They've only been doing it one season. Oh, we need food. Whoops. Pop in here. Okay, so we probably need to make some more stew, it looks like. Plenty of meat. One got one bucket of milk. There we go. Do 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 do. Pardon me, sir. And sleep. Hi, wife. Can you help me with something? Yo, please. How have you been? Alrighty. In these one destroy bum 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 yes. just like no Tia, what are you doing? Well, it's important when you get this done. There we go. And then extra axe here. Management. Where's my diggers? Ah. Here's one. Assigned workplace. Uh, sir, you're gonna be in the mines, okay? Have fun. And our other digger is a mom. Okay. That's fine. This field worker. To the mines. And there we go. Dum, 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 dum. The black papa. 
Papa, I got the black lung. Okay, so, uh, F5. Merman, Papa. <laughs> uh, God loves Zoolander. Alright, now I have to go to the bear cave. Because we gotta do one more mine up there. So we need 12. 12 of uh, uh, planks. And 20 logs. Nope, not 20 logs. How about 15? 15 logs are good, maybe? Okay, let's go sell this other stuff and then we'll run up there. Mm -hmm. I really like this game. They did a really good job on the graphics. And the nice sound that's in the background. The uh, Steam award stuff, they ask if we could mark it for, uh, what was it? Something chill, something. Let me see. Dun dun dun. Open. Says me. Oh, not that one. Aha. No. Don't play. Aha, there it is. Uh, they want us to nominate it for Sit Back and Relax for the Steam Awards. I'm going to go ahead and click. I didn't really mean do any good, but anyway. Yeah, so they wanted the Sit Back and Relax award for that one. I'm like, well, I do. I do sit back and relax when I play this game. I'll vote for it later. Uh, somebody was mentioning that they were hinting at having like an auto sale type feature. I'm hoping they'll put it in like, see here, uh, warehouse. Resource storage. I'm hoping they'll have another tab here and I'll have like two different levers. One lever is like people can't use this resource if it's under this. And the next one says if over this much, anything over this much, they can sell. That would be really sweet. You have something like that in um, I think Banished at the storehouses in Banished um, where it says like that way you never actually run out of stuff, like you could block off most of your cabbage for not people not eating that. And then continue from there. Like they'd eat roasted meat instead of cabbages if you did that. Uh, right now the food system is based on highest nutrition goes first. And if it's the same nutrition, lowest condition goes first. Uh, but cabbages have two more nutrition than co roasted meat right now. But if you make soup and stuff like that, it won't matter because that'll go away before any of the raw materials do. <laughs> which is much better than the old alphabetical system. Which, thank God, now we can have berries more than one season. Well, more than one day in a season. <laughs> Alright. Let's go talk to my good friend, the cow herder. Dun 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 Buddy! Where are you? He's hiding today. Oh, 
don't know how I feel about this. Also, I can't sprint, so their walking speed will outrun me. <laughs> I think this is the tavern lady. Unless it's our seat. Nope. Yeah, the tavern lady. She and I used to not get along at all. And then I learned how crafters talk, and now we get along just fine. Okay, so we're selling these extra things because we they're extra. Don't actually need them. Okay, perfect. There we go. Alright. And... Oh, feels wrong. I think that's wrong. I'm absolutely sure that's wrong. Axe is one. Woods, there we go. Whew. Nearly missed it. Alright, and away we go again. Dun, 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 dun. Now we're going up to the bear mine so we can put another mine down. And then we'll adjust our hunting stuff to bring less meat but more feathers in. Because I'm pretty sure that is a hunting thing, not a gathering thing. If not, we'll have to get more gatherers. Building, hunting lodge. Okay, so we have one worker out She's having a babies. Okay, less leather, less fur. So we have to cr so much of that. More feathers. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is having uh, a lot of iron arrows is the goal. M straight through these woods. <laughs> hi hi. It's nice to see some new faces. Yeah, F five, no joke, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hi dear. We'll keep our bow out just in case. So we can pop over these. If the bear will leave me alone, I won't kill it. But if it starts trying to maul me to, me to death, it's I got to I got to do it. So we're up here. Um, so the mine's right here. And there's a bear. Hi, bear butt. Dun dun. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm in autumn of year six. Yeah, it's easier to do this on the stream because I'm like actually talking to you versus watching an hour and a half to three hours on on uh, uh, YouTube. I completely understand that. Thanks for popping over, though. I'm always happy. I uh, I like having it on both places because I can talk to you guys here, and then on YouTube I can actually archive my stuff versus it gone in 14 days. So. Alright, so we didn't have to kill that bear, because he was out of our way. Now I don't know where he is. I don't be paranoid the entire time. We're on top of the mine. I'm looking to see if the second bear is around here, but I don't see him. Yeah, exactly. It's like, everything is gone. Alright, so the bear's there. There are two bears, sometimes. Uh, I just don't see the second one. So, let's, let's get our business done. Uh, do, 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 do. Building, resources, mine. So the mine doesn't go just anywhere, it only goes right at the very beginning. So we got our 12 planks. We have 15 logs total. So let's see how shy we are. Ooh, we did it! Okay, so 15 logs and 12 planks should get you guys your mine built. And we're gonna just skip all that drama.
<laughs> well, there's a really nice spot next to the cave. Right down here. That you can have a warehouse and everything else. And you can actually have room to build an actual house right there in front of the mine. Um, but at the moment, the it doesn't matter how far away the mines are. The people will still use them. It doesn't matter how far away the food and storage house is. The people will still use them. Um, so we just build a base town. So we got our mine up here. And our mine up here right now. And then we got all of our villagers right here. Yeah, no travel time. They'll go, the uh, people in your village will go to render distance and then stay there. So you don't lose any production on time. Same thing with your excavation shed when you're not near a clay pit. As of this patch. Um, oh, in the future, if they decide to go micromanage and, and make you do that. Because I used to build entire little towns. Like a one house with two, a couple. So they could have two children. And then a food storage and a warehouse up, up at each place. Uh, now I just throw the mine up there and assign people to work it. So, yeah. Works out pretty decently, I think. Yeah, your four shirts with high walls. <laughs> yeah, they did say they're gonna keep it more um, peasant-like, uh, so they weren't bringing any castles or any any craziness in uh, that would make you like a lord or anything. They don't have any plans of doing that. Hi. <laughs> High wall lord of high wall keep. <laughs> or the highest walls in the kingdom. <laughs> so these, like I said, I have these guys making spoons right now. Uh, let me look at something. This makes me weird, feel weird. Um, repair. Look at your grain. Um... Have these guys make a wooden spoons because they're fast. And we want to get their crafting skill up. Uh, same thing with the people in the in here. I have them making roasted meat so it goes up faster. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot lots of different places. Um to build, but I like this place the best. It's, it's the first place I set up and it's got enough flat ground that I can actually do what I need to and it's right by um, right by a town, two towns with six merchants. So, has everything we pretty much need. Alright. Feathers, iron, sticks, way too many sticks, that work for right now. <laughs> yes, so the NPCs have tree skills, uh, sk skill trees, skill, tree skills, uh, skill trees as, as well as we do um, and their crafting speed when they craft they get so many points just like we do uh, so it um, we have to find something that they can craft fast so they can actually skill up and I didn't unlock iron arrow oh I did okay sweet make two sets of iron arrows real quick So iron arrows will be what we're making for money. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah, basically. Um, crossbows, I don't use them, but a lot of people actually do, because they are actually pretty good. Uh, and they cut down the animation issues that they were having, uh, which makes it a lot faster overall to actually use. Um, so I don't have anything against uh, the iron arrows, or the, uh, sorry, the crossbows. I just, I'm so used to using the longbow, it's my comfort zone. Although I will say crossbows work better in melee combat. <laughs> Bunch of iron arrows we already got. Yeah. We can actually make some iron tools and stuff now too. Should have iron coming in. Medieval shotgun, yeah. Pew pew. Iron, feathers, and sticks. So I really want to keep them making spoons, but I'm going to go ahead and switch them over because it's going to be a thing. Uh, management. Buildings. Smitty. So look, right now, spoons, they can make a spoon an hour between them. Uh, so let's see how many arrows they can make. Which, thank God they fixed this, because you used to only, only make one arrow. No, not stone. Gross. What are you doing? Stamp it. Okay. Iron arrows. So, 0. 0.6. So, they'll have a much, much slower time leveling on iron arrows, but since we're using that for our cash crop, um, that's what it's going to be. Now, also, on a good note... Because mines got unlocked, we also unlocked dun 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 technology mines lanterns. Boop. So yeah, so now we can put some lights out. I can see it. Yes, that's what we've been waiting on this entire time. Wool. And do a hundred and twenty. Okay. Logs. Uh, leather. And I don't remember what else was in there. Hold on. Technology. I love the fact that the recipes actually have their ingredients over here. It's amazing. Two, four, eight. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, sticks. Oh, agua, okay. Thank you. Ah. Dum, 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 dum. Oh yeah, sewing. I always forget I move the sewing thing over here. Pardon me. Gotta show some more thread. I'm excited. We'll get some lanterns in. There shall be light. Also, I want to try something. I believe the mouse wheel will actually rotate whatever you're trying to build, minus a field, of course, or a street. But any housing or structure, uh, you can rotate. I saw somebody's house and they did like an amazing job decorating. So I don't know how they did it because all I know what to do is to throw it down on the ground. 
and my stuff does not look amazing. Alright, so Q, other, lighting, lamps. Alright, I wanted to see if we could put it in the water, but that's not a thing we can do. That's okay. Boop. Uh, they don't have any plans for multiplayer or co-op for this yet. Um, he said there has been a lot of interest in it and they appreciate that, but at the moment, uh, that is not anything that they're working on. Boop. Yeah, I mean, I would love to have my brother here helping me get some of this stuff done, uh, but... Okay. Oh, Q and E is rotate. My bad. Do, 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 do. Okay. Nice. Hi, son. I know I never talked to you, but hi. There. Okay, I talked to it. Quota filled. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I am trying to put the uh, lights. These <laughs> ones. I would never. I would never. At least his name's not Wigbert this time, okay? Wigbert. Why well, you don't let other people name your kids? Alright, let's go get some more stuff. We need more logs and a little bit more leather. Dun, 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 dun. And... Uh, see, there are 50, 50 iron arrows right there. Good job. Okay, uh... 49 iron logs do 10 logs leather 20 So like I said, I'm trying to build the um, street lamps where they won't knock me off the horse if we ever get horses. Which they plan on giving us horses eventually. I want to make sure they're not too far out in the road where I get knocked off my horse. one of the things when I was playing uh, my other game. Um, wow, really? Having trouble with the names? Uh, what the heck was that? I only played like 2,000 hours of it and can't remember the name. What happens? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> 2,000 hours on your camera. Feudal, yes. Life is feudal. They put the lamps too close, overlapping on the roads I would make. Like, I would be thrilled. I was like, yay, thank you guys for making making paint, uh, the, the lights and stuff. And I'd be like, but it blocks traffic, so I had to take it down. <laughs> so now when I build the roads, I always put the uh, blueprint for the things down. So all they have to do is come in and fill them in and lock, knock them in if they want to. 
we're about to be out of lights, and that's okay. Boop. Okay. I'm gonna call that good for lights for right now. Oh look, new building, barn three. Uh, I run a server for Life is Feudal Your Own, um, and I have a no jerks rule, basically. Uh, cause everybody's there to relax and build and, you know, have fun. And, yeah, I like to chill out. People that make my life stressful don't, are, are not, uh, not people I usually hang with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I played the MMO, but that was so stressful, and it was a second job. Yeah. <laughs> it was a second job, and I was like, okay, we don't need to be playing games that are second jobs. Alright, so we're moving along nicely. Long way to resource storage 3, but that's okay. Fishing lodge, fishing hut. Alright, so we're almost done with- we're done with this branch, basically. That's cool. Crafting, tavern's coming up. Actually, pretty fast. That's pretty nice. We just got sewing last season. <laughs> uh, I stepped away from WoW November, is when I decided. Uh, I had to buy all my stews and stuff back in the schematics. But yeah, all my stuff is there. I don't think I've unlocked any bread because I never use bread stuff. These guys are making roasted meat. I think I'm going to switch them over. Even though it's not not efficient for leveling, I'm going to go ahead and move them back over to stew. We were going to level everybody up, but it's... Yeah, I need them to actually be producing stuff. So hopefully I can make it completely independent. Alright, so... Tavern 2... Oh, I actually have a skeleton crew for what I'm doing. I have 20, uh, 26 people and a lot of them are children. Do, do, do. And I have more children on the way. All right, let's find some diggers that are not moms. I know, right? I, I was well, uh, saying about l the age of 12, we should have inside of the, um, inside of the buildings, they should have another slot instead of assigned worker. It's another, it's the workers, and then it says apprentice here, and you can assign anybody that's 12 years old or higher into here until they're 18. And we're 18, we can roll them over here, but at the time, they're still gaining whatever skill this is as an apprentice. I mean, that would be really, I mean, that'd be sweet. That'd be what I want. And it doesn't even, I don't even care if it ups the productivity or whatever of the building. Um, but just to have them doing something, because it's not like we're sending them to school so they can't get more education that way. And it's not like, you know, we're sending them out to pick up sticks in the wood woodshed or, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, just my humble opinion. Also, I forgot what we were doing. Oh, yeah. I remember food technology. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, because a lot of people did that, unless they were really rich, and then they sent them off to other houses to, for uh, political reasons, basically. Barn. Because trust me, when I'm playing uh, Frostpunk, I put the children to work. <laughs> Little Timmy, here's an extra pair of socks. Go out, go out there and gather the scrap metal we need. Okay, for the love of goodness, what am I doing? Okay, building. Tavern. 
I need you guys. No more roasted meat. Always empty. <laughs> uh, and we're going to make some stew. There we go. It bothers the crap out of me. They make 0.6 stew an hour. I don't like that. There's a, the multiplier for the food and the crafting is all wrong. It's wrong. It's fine. <sighs> it's okay. I mean, if they ever level up, then it'll be worth it, but that's keeping them on spoons and cooked food for like six years for them to level up enough to be switching over to the stuff that we actually want them to be and that's kind of counterproductive. Let's see how much food we got for them. Well, there's tons of food for them, so I'm not worried they're going to starve because they have berries, buckets of milk, cabbages, meat, roasted meat. They have everything else, so if they run out of stew... I kind of don't want them to run out of stew. We are going to knock out some pottage, because I know that's your guys' favorite part of any of these that I do. I get I get written complaints when we don't do pottage. <laughs> uh, it's understandable. I know that's your guys' favorite part of the game. Uh, not really, because guess what? By the time they're level 6 crafters, if you do it the traditional way, as in having them cook meat and stuff like that, they die. So you, you never actually get a level 10 crafter if you're using them to produce good things in your village. So I would have to disagree because it's a generations thing. Specifically because it's a generations thing, I think it should be faster leveling. I know it's everybody's favorite. Favorite. Like I get 16 emails a day saying, "Why didn't you make cat pat pottage this episode?" And I was like, "I'm sorry. <laughs> we had we had to do things. We had to run places." Exactly. Apprenticeship would engage them to be able to teach higher skills by the time they were actually ready for the next generation. I 100% I agree. Ugh. But yeah. Plus, Pottage lets me talk to you guys for a little bit longer, because we can do an entire season in an hour and 20 minutes if we actually just went to sleep when it was time to sleep and didn't do any extra stuff uh, at night. And I've done that a couple of times because I was trying to get through the season to the next thing. I actually had to kick the heater on this morning. <laughs> oh yeah, well, um, so I don't do anything offline, so everything I do is when I'm with you guys. So I don't get to cook the 600 pottage or whatever, um, a sitting like a lot of people do. I think the highest somebody did was 900 in a sitting that I know of. I was like out of, uh, because they started day one in the, in the season and then cooked all day and through the night. Yeah, exactly. So, trust me, I mean, I could catch up on a lot of things if we were off screen. <laughs> I'd be like, and I did all these things while you guys were gone? And we're leveled out, and it's year 11. Because I played for 18 hours. <laughs> Some of my first streams were, th like, 13 hours long is one of them. Because I was, like, super engaged with the game and didn't want to put it down. And I said I was going to stream as long as I was actually playing. So, yeah, I had some marathon ones. Uh, on occasion... I'll do a year long or a couple seasons long, depends on what I got going on that day and my energy levels. But, uh, usually one season is just about enough for me to want to get up and walk around and stretch. 
And I don't have any cool BRB screens or anything like that, so I can't say, hey, five minute break, guys. <laughs> so, pottage used to be when I would take a break and go shower and eat real quick. Mm. <laughs> this is 22 hours and got lost in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I avoid The Sims when I can, cause it's like I blink and it's the next day, and I'm like, oh god, what? How long have I been in here? Speaking of, uh, on Steam sale, Sims 4 is like 4.99. So if you guys don't have it, and you got five bucks in your gaming budget, if any of you guys have a gaming budget yet, I hope some of you guys do. Uh, <laughs> then uh, that's a good pickup if you uh. If you want a lot of time in a game. And then, um, there's a couple other ones I was gonna say as well that were on sale. But, uh, I depleted my funds to this month for my, uh, gaming budget. I'm 31 and I don't budget stuff. <laughs> hey, I didn't notice n no gaming, I didn't know budget stuff until I was about 34. And then, uh, I got my stuff on track, and I have zero debt, and my house is paid off. And, yeah. And I did definitely didn't win the lottery or anything crazy like that. So, yeah. I looked up uh, FIRE, Financial Independent, Retire Early, because it kind of gives you a... You got three years to chill. <laughs> no! No! If you do it now, you're a millionaire versus, versus me. Um, <laughs> no... <laughs> Yeah, I'm teaching my nieces and nephews and stuff uh, financial education. Because in my house when I grew up, it was it was my mom would borrow from one payday lender to another one and switch them out every time. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was debt. Tons of debt. And that's how I grew up and that's how, what I knew about finance stuff. And then I did a lot of deployments back to back. And... Um, didn't learn much about financing like one deployment they taught us uh, save a thousand dollars okay cool I saved a thousand dollars and then the next deployment uh, the, I think that was pretty much probably the same briefing like the same one the next piece of information I picked out of it was pick a goal for your money like how much you want and then when you reach it pick another goal I'm like well holy crap what the okay I'll try that and I came back with like twenty thousand dollars and um, you know stuff like that and then it just kind of grew and grew and then I started learning about fire like financial independence retire early and yeah it was it was really crazy it's just like it was a mind shift basically on how you spend money and not owing people debt because it's it's nice not having to freak out every month like crap I owe these many people this many monies and I don't I owe I owe on my electricity my internet and stuff that I have day to day um, and then that, that's about it. I don't do credit cards, I don't, don't do any of that stuff. Now, eight years ago, I had all that stuff. I had debt, I had credit cards, I had all that things. But, yeah. I like it better now. <laughs> so you got me off on a financial tangent. I, I do like talking finance. <laughs> but yeah, it is, it's a mind shift for everybody. It's like, what do you want your money to do for you? And picking out goals and stuff like that, and budgeting doesn't mean super hard sacrifices if you don't want it to it can just mean I tell my money where to go where it goes basically not in real life uh, I did invest yes um, I did a Roth IRA which isn't much but it's something um, but I didn't start investing until I cleared all my debt because every it's great if you can grow your money a little bit at a time but if something is guaranteed six to twelve percent interest a year on it as in that's how much your interest rate is on a loan it's much easier to do that than get something that might return three three to ten might yeah yeah uh, Dave Ramsey discovered like two I discovered him like two years ago and that helped me chew down the rest of my debt because until then I was investing and I was 
growing my money a little bit at a time, but I would have grown up much faster if I had cleared debt. So, yeah. Yeah, I wish I would have run into Dave a lot earlier. Um, but yeah, I've been doing this fire thing for about eight years. It took about eight, uh, eight years to clear it total. Like, I think June, when I turned 40 was when I cleared all my debt. But yeah, all debt's gone, and then the money that was going to debt, I now have to invest. And there's that. Yeah, sorry, Stal. It's like, let me just run over on uh, stuff. Uh, I did military, so I didn't get into student debt, which was amazing. Like a huge, huge boon for me, because a lot of Americans go into big debt when they're trying to get their, their college taken care of. Uh because they also spend it on extra stuff. Yeah, a big game. I only do $200 a month on gaming, and that also includes when I want to upgrade my PC. But yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are buried in debt before they realize that they're buried in debt. And uh, so I'm trying to, I'm working on my nieces and nephews now. The oldest of them is 13. And I really want them to live a life where they don't owe anybody anything. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, we need to figure we need to figure a lot of things out. Um Yeah. We'll see where she goes. Yeah, I try not to discuss politics too much, but if somebody gets me off on a finance tangent I can't I can't pull myself back. Can't rein myself in. <laughs> Uh. Oh man, Kathy. Stay with me, coffee. You can make it. Yep. We're working to change that. Yes, it is. Exactly. So we had a nice long conversation. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Good old H2O. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Yeah, I bought a, a Camelback water bottle. Um, absolutely love it because I it's like had a Camelback for a really long time, and so it's got the same feel uh, as having to wear a Camelback, but I don't actually have to put it on, so it's great. All right, look at those lights. Okay, I think we need one on that side. I think oh, we haven't done one there. Do 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 do. You guys night fishing over there? Hopefully you don't throw dynamite in the water. <laughs> Shark fish, no! That's what I said when they add fishes to them. Please don't be piranhas, guys. Please don't be piranhas. <laughs> Kid! It's my sleeping spot. Oh yes, yes. Uh, we've had plenty of them. I've had one that destroyed 10% of the buildings, or 10% durability on the building, so I even had to repair stone houses. Uh, I've had some that um, brought my mood down 100 because I gave the guy's coin purse back, because I'm a good person. And the villagers were unhappy because I didn't give it to them. Um, we got a hundred dynasty points. We didn't actually need finishing that one, but the guy got his purse back. We got dynasty rep, and everybody was sad. It's like, no, guys, you should be happy. But 
they weren't. So I had to suffer, suffer with that little one. I had one that boosted productivity uh, by 15%, but I don't think that actually boosted anything. Um, but it was before like the bigger patches with the mood and stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, we've had a, we've had a couple ones. Yeah, fake news, right? <laughs> like now, and we have we've had a couple of them that were pretty good. Alright, who do, who, who do we get? We'll have to build, I think we'll build a house. We'll move our diggers around a little bit. Kinda looking for our merchants though. It's delicious pottage. It's not floor pottage, so it's not as good as my other pottage, but it should work. Uh, I haven't played it, uh, but that's not because I didn't want to. It was just the time constraint on some other things. So some iron arrows. It's two merchants. I was in the middle of playing the Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, and then I needed a break from all things, so I haven't played that since I was playing earlier. Might end up playing it later, but... Alright, so we got these merchants. Where's my... Where's my cow herder? Haha! <laughs> I'm a Final Fantasy fan myself. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Where's my dude, man? Alright, so we can't see a merchant purse, which means he's a quest. There he is. Hi. What you doing, buddy? Dangerous animals. Uh, nope, it's the last day. I never do dan dangerous animals on the last day. Iron arrows. Alright. <laughs> We're almost out of food and water, so we should probably... Maybe drink a bucket of milk. 30 day seasons? Oh my god. <laughs> I'd be exhausted if I got done with those. I'm gonna do a season a season a stream. Be crying. Although, my question is, if you're doing 30 day seasons, does that mean your people actually level up correctly? Like they produce just as fast, but they have 30 times or, yeah, 10 times more stuff. So technically, you probably could have a level 6 crafter in year 1 if 30 day seasons were done. But that would be, that would be insane. I would never make it. Hi, sheeps. I was thinking about doing a two-day season and seeing if I could make it do everything I needed it to do. And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, nah, I'll stick with the vanilla setup. That way, in case people are coming in to play the game, uh, I have a fresh perspective on vanilla. Uh, I don't yet, no. I, um, I'm waiting on bandits, and we'll probably do one playthrough with bandits, and then if 
possible to turn the bandits off. I don't know yet. Like I said, if the bandits become a source of income, as in I can Greyhawk their bodies, I would probably keep bandits on, but if it's just a hassle, I probably won't. Don't need clay for anything. Ah, eh. Stop. Wait. Hold on. Okay. We were gonna milk because we we're starving. I forgot. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, if we're getting bandits, then we need a couple NPCs for fighting or something. I don't even know. Cause we now have one guy patrolling, but. Yeah. Lots of questions and no answers. But yeah, we'll we'll see when it comes out. Um so the my only guess on bandits is that the uh Oh, silly. Didn't drink the last piece of milk. Boop. Cabbages, carrots, stew. Oh, you made one whole stew this entire time? It's fine, everything is fine. <laughs> Alright. Buckets of milk. Buckets of milk. Oh man, I'm gonna have to finish those onions soon too. Crud monkeys. Alright, we'll run over here. Yeah, you'll have answers when you're faced with the problems. Exactly, exactly. Because I'm, I'm thinking the bandits won't be able to climb over the walls since we're not able to climb over the walls. So I might just put up the... Uh, uh, you can get them by shopping and by talking to NPCs. Um, one of the guys here always talks to all the NPCs when he goes into town. Um, and he actually has diplomacy maxed out versus me who only talks if I have to. My diplomacy skill actually sucks. Uh, because I don't spend a lot of time actually talking. I only have three. So diplomacy, you definitely want to have three of three here first. Uh, that way it's pretty much triple XP. Yeah, it's like, if I don't need to talk to you, I won't. Uh, diplomacy is actually one of the best skills in the game. Uh, because frequent buyer allows lower buying prices. But um, good host, additional 5 mood for each inhabitant. And so it'll be up to 15 once you're done. And seller is the biggest point. So we only get like 4 gold per flaxseed. And just with one in here, you get five gold per flax seed, which doesn't seem like a lot unless you're selling thousands of flax seeds. So it, this is like super important to get to. But you want three of three here first because it's triple XP. <laughs> uh, I am a Stardew Valley fan uh, as far as it's relaxing and I enjoy it very much so. I mean, hi. Hi, buddy. Robes? Negative two, but you're a crafter. I guess you're a hunter before a crafter, though. Alright, so you're a hunter. Nice weather, right? How's the job? Have you been? Okay. Uh, you're a fisher-gatherer. Usually F5 if I want to actually talk to people for um, recruiting purposes, but we don't have an extra house or anything ready yet, so didn't actually need them. Iron arrows, yeah. Take some iron arrows, they're good. Some wooden spoons, we totally need those. 
Buckets of milk are 35 gold apiece. So we only went with goats instead of uh, cows because goats have um, goats and sheep can be in the same pen and use one crafter or one animal breeder, and they're taxed the same. So instead of having a separate pen for goats and a, or sorry, separate pen for um, cows and a separate pen for sheep, I have a two for one on a fold. Still, I'm not gonna lie, when I was playing vanilla uh, Stardew Valley, it was kind of annoying to figure out where people were. Um, like I had a, I, I take note, I use notepads when I game, like take notes and stuff. And uh, then I found a mod that lets me track down people. <laughs> so I open my mini map and I can see where everybody is. And that made it a lot better for me. Uh, so I use modded Stardew Valley now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie and say I'm a perfectionist on the vanilla game, because that's a lie. I totally have a mouse over, like, on items. Is that- uh, have I already collected that for the community center? Have I not? And stuff like that, so... Uh... And then I do, like, chests anywhere as well. So I can hit my B button and then put stuff into boxes that I have in the- uh, back at the farm. So yeah, definitely not a vanilla experience. Alright, we were doing something, and I have no idea what it was. We were selling stuff and making money. Yeah, no. This is 90% of my gameplay, is me trying to figure out what I was doing. Dun, dun. Ha, okay, so we're still getting clay somehow. Management. Oh, we haven't assigned the mines to tell them what we actually want them to do. My bad. This was my fault. No, I don't want salt. No, I don't want rocks. Just iron. Thank you. Eight per hour. Use are gonna skill up fast. Management. Alright, we're gonna look through here. field worker. He's also a digger. I need you to go to the second mine. Perfect. So I had accidentally grabbed diggers and made them farmers because I didn't have the mines up yet. But now I do. There we go. Let me make sure both the mines have what we want in them. All the iron. Exactly. All the iron. Okay, that one's set correctly. This one. Gross. No way. Oh, this one. Yeah. Wait a minute. Did I mess up the other one? Oh, it moved the iron up there. Way to confuse me. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Got our workers there. Hunting lodge. We got one hunter bringing in all the stuff. And that's okay, because he's doing a good job. We have a farmer and a field worker. And that will work for right now. And then we have like 16 moms. We'll put them back to work later. This one's happiness is going to go down a little bit because they excelled at farming. And we put them in a minor spot, but that's okay. Uh, the children still do take 18 years to actually get a get a job. A job. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like if, if we had a workplace, say a nice safe place to put them, 
where children are supposed to go. <laughs> but it should say workers and then apprentices and like at age 12 or whatever have them here so they can skill up. I'll totally put them in the mines. I don't even mind. <laughs> uh. Alright, so F5, F9. We're gonna go ahead and do this just in case uh, well, the person we moved was doing the wheat field like they were supposed to be. I don't really have high hopes for them, but that's okay. So plow, but not finished. Okay, so we'll go get a bag and we'll go ahead and sew this for, or um, do this. And whoever the other farmer is needs to get out here and do this. But I don't see them. Okay, so you're you go woodshed stuff. Sorry, lady. Okay. Kills me, lady. Man, why is this always happening? <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this over here. I'll grow them back. You get monies and learn the skill for an iron hoe. I never buy the stuff until I actually need it. So there's that. Uh, monies. Mask technology. Smitty. Smitty too. Ha. Boop. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, no, not you. Not you. I need the anvil. Do do do. Like, look, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, I swear. I just need you to scooch out of my way. Just a little bit. Ugh. I hope they make a trade building. I mean, like, I said I would like the, um, in the storage room have the, this is how much people can't use, and if it's over this, this is how much we sell. Uh, modifiers, but I, I wouldn't mind having a crafting... Hey, hi, move. Thank you. Um, wouldn't mind having a merchant stall or something like that. Or a merchant warehouse. For things we want to sell. And then it slowly sells over time or whatever. Alright. Well, you're doing a good job. I guess I'll make, um... Make a thing. Oh, man. Your brain isn't working, is it? Okay. Alright. 
Oh, I couldn't tell you. I like to hum when I'm happy. Most gaming and food are two things that make me hum. Dun, dun, dun. We weren't here, we need seeds. That's what we need. Wheat seeds. Alright, cabbages, summer, spring and summer. Flax, spring only. Oats, spring only. Onions, spring only. Rye, autumn, harvested in spring. Rye is my counterpart that I use on the other uh, fields usually. Wheat is what we're looking for though. We don't need that much wheat, but still. Ah! I five wheat. What you doing there, buddy? Oh, nice. I don't know how that happened. But I like it. Did he really just do that much in five seconds? I don't know. I don't think he did. It's okay though. Uh, so thankfully for this particular thing, we don't use a lot of stamina, so you can just hold down your mouse button and walk. You don't have to do 50 million clicks. You can also do the same thing for plowing uh, and fertilizing, although with plowing you run out of stamina pretty quick, even using an iron uh, item. So probably before summer I'll have to have a couple more field hands in, and that's okay. I do need to grab another hunter-gatherer, and then we'll reassign the females when they have, like, the second child. So we probably need to start recruiting pretty fast, just for a couple more people. So I was able to get 30 adults my last playthrough, uh, but we were hitting it pretty heavy and we had the houses segregated so that the male and females couldn't get married at first. We already moved the tavern so we should be able to put the houses down soon. Right, he's not gonna stop at the end of the row. That's good. Uh, like I said, last playthrough I tried to get 30 adults as a max because that's 15 houses, and then I still had a lot of different buildings for different things. But uh, I think we're only gonna go with as many as that we actually need jobs for, and I'm not gonna do the insane amount of fields. I had 
three 16 by 16 fields last time. Uh, but we, we don't need to get that crazy this time. I had a lot of rot last time. I'd be good with about 24 or 26 adults. So we'll have plenty for farmers and stuff like that. Hunters. Like I said, the moms will only have two children, so by year eight, they, uh, they can go back to full time jobs. So I already have two children by then. At least that's the hope. I mean, I could. I, I do have a gaming keyboard, and I could have it press E every five seconds, but uh, so far I really haven't. There's nothing wrong if you have. It just I just haven't yet. There we go. Good job. We did it. Um, I management fields. Oh my goodness, so it didn't, uh, so like I said before, if we did anything, it would mess it up. Like this would disappear if we touched anything. And we just helped him do the field and it's just fine. That's actually pretty awesome. Alright. F5. Alright, he's like, yay, I'm done. After we harvest this side over here next time. Oh, this weird line here is a street. I built a street between these. Oh, uh, we might go ahead and delete this field. Because I don't think we need need it. Yeah, I don't mind you getting tired of hitting these so much. Especially like when you're rock collecting <laughs> in the uh, winter. Tons and tons of rocks. Okay, so... Iron hose, bag, bag. Divorced. <laughs> 250? Yeah! It's making stuff. And our whole thing is to make sure the feathers and the iron and sticks can keep up with it. It's chewing down the sticks pretty fast. Let me, uh, I gotta check my excavation shed. Okay, so no more clay. So we actually really don't need it. Oh, pump the roll. There we go. And there we go. Okay, that should work. Oh, that's getting pretty close. Oh, firewood's down. Let me check my, uh, check my dudes. Dudes, what you doing, dudes? Uh, woodshed. So we're gonna slow down the stick production. Crank up. I don't know how that got to zero. I guess my other one had, uh... Okay, let's try that. I don't want to delete from the delete hammer. I want to delete laser cannon. They had those back in those days. <laughs> pew pew pew. Ugh. That'd be bad. I would like accidentally demolish half the town before I realized what was going on. <sighs> All 
Alrighty. Did we already sell? We sold all that pottage we made, right? Pretty sure we did. And I'm really, really dirty, so I need to take a bath soon. Hmm. Uh, so onions have one more season before they're rotted. So we'll have to cook all these next time. So that's a thing. We'll go ahead and thrash some of this for weight. So this is like the only thing you can do. Oh, oh I can't even pick that up. <laughs> oh, because I have limestone too. And clay. Cancel. I'll be back. <laughs> I know, right? something and I forgot. It's okay. Eh. And... That's a lot of stuff though. I don't know if I can do that. We'll do it with the wheat instead. <laughs> I may. We're just getting through fall of year six, doing stuff and things. We finally got our two mines up. Probably need to recruit a couple more hunters and a couple more field workers. Well, the whole point of the animation is that thing on the end is supposed to spin around in a circle and slam down on the grain. Uh, it just looks really weird, though. Because there's a hinge joint at the, um, at the top where the thing flips, which is what that leathery sound is. It's the creak. And then the smack of the grain on the thing. I have not played Autonauts. Um, Craftopia, I think, is also on sale on the Steam Autumn sale. But like I said, Sims 4 was only five bucks, and I'm like, if you guys just knew how much money I spent on the Sims. I always wait for the game packs and stuff to go on sale, because even, even buying them and trying to justify the expenses is crazy. So I said, that's why I have a game budget, so I don't have to feel super guilty about buying stuff. Ah, oh, Pez, thank you for the follow. I don't know how I missed that, but thank you. Oh, yeah, I guess I gotta do the, I gotta do the thing. Uh, so, I stream here on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays. And I post all my stuff over on YouTube for archive. So if you would like to like, follow, subscribe, thumbs up, high five, low five, uh, support for the channel, it would be much appreciated. And um, anyway, I didn't just say this yesterday, but I am thankful for you guys. So that's my thank Thanksgiving thank you. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, I did play The Sims Online, and I used to go to people's lots. Like, the world didn't look, like, super connected. Like, everybody had their own style in a small neighborhood, which always kind of, like, weirded me out a little bit. But I always had certain people I really liked to go to their lots because they had everything set up so I could skill up in their lots when I was dirt poor, which was most of the time. But yeah, I did play The Sims Online. <laughs> oh, that was a long
long time ago, though. That really was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'm probably gonna go over, like, to look and see what's on the steam cell. Do you guys know how long the autumn steam cell lasts, anyway? I'm hoping it's past the first, because... Like I said, I don't go out of my budget, and I was like, I have to wait patiently till the first until I have, uh, restocked my budgets. One week? Okay. So next, next Friday? Next Thursday? As long as it's past the first, I'm good. It's just gotta last a couple more days. December 1st? It ends? <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I don't need stuff. I just want stuff. There's a difference. Alright, there we go. Yay! We did it! Uh, so we'll put stuff here. I hope so. If not, I'm not gonna cry about it too much. There's always another sale and there's nothing I like desperately want to play. I get I dunk most of my budget into the Assassin's Creed this this uh this month. Which means I probably still need to play a little bit more of that. Alright, so that's done. Rise the only thing we got going that we need to get done. Uh tomorrow I guess it's not tomorrow since it's Saturday. Uh, I do sometimes stream outside those particular four days. Um so it usually depends on what I'm doing on the weekend or if I just need a break from everything in life. Uh, but next time we play, we will make a bar uh, upgraded barn. So I need to get that done. And we need to recruit some hunters. That way we can make sure feathers and stuff are coming in. Uh, our woodworker is currently having a baby. So that's two years on that extra person. Sometimes you learn a lot from e homers. <laughs> Not always, actually I do enjoy, like, it'll be weird. So, uh, I'll be doing something on the weekend, I'm like, oh, you know, so-and-so in the stream would like this, or, oh, hey, and I was like, nope, stop it, you'll see them Monday. <laughs> and I figured out what the wife does. The wife moves the kid over to the bed if I'm too stink stinky. She's like, you sleep here, because my husband stinks. I'm sorry, I haven't taken a bath in like all season. Alright, we're pretty much done. It's good, it's good enough. Okay, well. <laughs> hey, a little lamp. I do like it. I like their, I like the color of the glow on the lamps. Yeah, exactly, exactly. See? She moved over there. Uh, it's like she is the shepherdess, so she takes care of all the sheep and stuff. Um, but there's that. So we're gonna go ahead and sleep, and then our stream will be done for today. But I'm gonna sleep and let you guys see that way that when the this is when the events pop up. Your inhabitants have invited for a wedding. Everyone will attend the ceremony and have a jolly time. Toast the couple or celebrate the whole night. Guys, we're gonna pick two. That's not a choice. It is a choice because they uh, later they plan on having having sleep deprivation be a problem. They haven't. I don't think they've implemented it yet, but they do have plans on making a penalty if you stay up all night working, like I usually do. Dun, da, da, da. All right, so we gotta stop now. Unless you guys want to continue, need three three people to say go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Five, four, three. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. Looks like we're doing winter. Let me pause the uh, YouTube one.